Physics is the most underappreciated subjects in grades 11th and 12th. It is highly demonized for absolutely no reason. This is all because students do not know how to study physics efficiently and effectively. In today's video, I will be going over some important tips and tricks when it comes to studying physics in grade 11 and 12th. Let's get into it. Firstly, we set the foundation. The core of physics is the root concepts. Understanding those root concepts helps you build up an understanding of physics in depth. Before you start deciphering those complex mind-bending equations, you should start making friends with the basics, shouldn't you? Trust me, this is your ticket to success. So what topics should you be giving your extra love and attention to? Divide your entire syllabus. Mechanics, thermodynamics, optics, electromagnetism, modern physics. These are the gems that will help you shine bright in your exams. Now I know you might be thinking, well, where do I start? Well, my friends, fear not, or I've got your back. When it comes to resources, there is a plethora of textbooks that you could refer to. My suggestion, start off with your NCRT. And if you want to learn in much more depth, you can go through any physics textbook that is recommended to ISC students. Their textbooks are usually much more complex and much more in detail that will help you appreciate physics a lot more. Moving ahead from the what's, let us go into the hows of studying physics. What techniques can you use to learn? We're talking here about active recall. You know, the kind when you're not just passively going through your textbooks and actually focusing on the information you need to retain in your head. Yep, that one. Use your deep work sessions effectively. How do you do that? There's a video right up here in the cards. Check that out. Once you've checked that out, come back to this video so you're able to understand every single thing that I'm going to say over here. Next, try using concept mapping. It's like you're mapping out the entirety of the universe of physics in one paper. Draw arrows connecting to various concepts. Try making an entire flow of every single topic, every single chapter. So that you're able to create a logical mind map to be able to navigate your entire journey of physics. But also flashcards. Using flashcards for important terms, important definitions and short form content will help you remember those content for a very long time. That is also something you can use for actively recalling all of the information you need to do. But also, what's the use of knowing all of these concepts if you don't know how to apply them? This is where your problem solving comes into picture. Async physics problem is like solving a puzzle. It's all about the strategy you use for that. Break down each and every step, whether it is projectile motion or circuit diagrams, dissect the problem into smaller pieces and then tackle each and every part of this problem. Trust me, this approach will make any single even the most complicated problems feel like a breeze. And of course, let us not forget the importance of visual aids. Physics is all around us. Try and learn things visually, especially if you're learning styles of a visual kind. Graphs, diagrams, videos, animations, and a lot more will be helpful to learn physics efficiently and for a long term. Now, as usual, how do I suggest going through the study? Start off with mechanics. At the heart of mechanics lies the Newton's laws of motion. These laws are like your guiding stars. They help you understand how objects interact with each other. And then move on to kinematics, where you're dealing with how these objects interact when in motion. Then move on into electromagnetism. Understand the motion of electric current, of electric charges, of electrons. Dive into circuit analysis. Dive into Kirchhoff's laws. And well, you'll be a circuit whisperer in no time. And all the bad one. Time to zoom into optics. Understanding how light interacts with particles. Understanding reflection and refraction. Understanding how lenses are made. And understanding the practical purpose of those lenses will help you ace optics in no time. And then you move into modern physics where you break an entire understanding of reality, but you build a much more stronger, much more durable understanding of said reality. When you start appreciating those topics, you will start understanding them a lot 
better. How do you ensure that this information stays in your head by practicing regularly? Solve questions, solve mock tests, solve previous year's papers. The more you solve, the more confident you become. That was all for today's video. I know it was a short one, but I like to keep my videos short and sweet. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel and follow for more tips. Also, share this video with everyone that you feel will benefit from this. With this, thank you for watching and happy learning.